In today's video, I'm going to explain about how to configure internet connection in Unify UDM Pro and configuring not one, but four different one internet connections. We'll set up DHCP internet connection, static IP connection, PPPoE connection, and VLAN connection. Finally, we'll explore how to configure failover for redundancy in case one connection goes down. Let's get started. Go to setting. Then in internet option, I have two ISP internet line. One is connected in port nine and second is connected in port eight. Let's configure the DHCP internet connection in our primary line. Click on primary van. You can change the name of your van internet if you want. Then expected ISP speed is used to define your internet connections upload and download speeds. This helps optimize features like smart queues and bandwidth monitoring. Set this to match your ISP's provided speeds. In advance, you can leave default auto option. Next in IPv4 configuration, select DHCP option. The UDM Pro will automatically obtain an IP address from your ISP. Click apply changes to save your configuration. Now it will take 10 to 20 seconds to get IP address from ISP. So be patient. You can see we get IP address from our ISP connection through DHCP setting. It means we have successfully configured our DHCP internet connection. Next, let's set up a static IP internet connection. This requires a fixed IP address, subnet mask, gateway and DNS server information from your ISP. This time, instead of DHCP option, select static and put your IP information there. Once all details are entered, click Apply Changes. This is ideal for businesses or advanced setups requiring consistent network configurations. Our third setup is PPPoE Internet Connection, commonly used by DSL connections. For this, you'll need a username and password from your ISP. Choose PPPoE as the connection type, then enter the username and password provided by your ISP. After entering the credentials, click Apply Changes to activate the connection. Your UDM Pro will now authenticate with your ISP for internet access. Finally, let's configure a VLAN internet connection for ISPs requiring VLAN tagging. You'll need the VLAN ID from your ISP. Then enable VLAN tagging and input the provided VLAN ID. Choose the appropriate connection type, then click apply to save the changes. Your UDM Pro will now authenticate with your ISP for internet access on tagging VLAN. We have successfully configured four different VAN internet connections on our Unify U DM Pro. The UDM Pro supports two VAN ports, a primary and a secondary connection. The secondary van can be configured for failover, meaning if the primary van connection goes offline, the secondary will automatically take over to maintain connectivity. Alternatively, in the load balancing, distributed mode, you can merge both van connections. For example, if your primary van offers 50 megabits per second, and the secondary also provides 50 megabits per second. Combining them in this mode will give you a total of 100 megabits per second bandwidth. You can also control the bandwidth allocation for each VAN connection to suit your needs. For instance, we've configured our UDM Pro to utilize 60% of the bandwidth from our primary VAN 1 and 40% from our secondary VAN 2. This setup allows you to prioritize traffic based on the importance or capacity of each connection, ensuring efficient use of your available resources. And that's it. We have successfully configured four different internet connections and set up failover on our Unify UDM Pro. Whether you're using DHCP, static IP, PPPoE or VLAN connections, the UDM Pro has you covered. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to ByteGeek for more tech tutorials. Drop your questions or suggestions in the comments below. See you in the next video.